Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fall home decor haul. I love sharing ideas and inspiration with you guys on pieces that I picked up to decorate with for fall. I know it's not quite pumpkin season yet, but I will be decorating for early fall like I did last year um, next. So that'll be the next video here on my channel and I will be incorporating a lot of these items. Everything I'll be showing you in this video is either from an antique mall, thrift store, or on on Etsy. I really wanted to lean into that cottage feel that I've been going for all around my home and I love just incorporating vintage finds to get that look and feel. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I have a lot to show so grab a cup of coffee or tea and let's get started. First up I found on Facebook Marketplace these three orange marmalade um, I don't think these are actually crocs. They're not made out of like that croc material, but I guess you could just call them jars, but they have that same look that I was going for. I think they're just so beautiful and I love that I have a set of three. I think I'm going to use these for my tiered tray for my early fall decorating, so stay tuned for that. But I was so excited to find these on Facebook Marketplace because I've been looking for a good year for them in my local like thrift stores and also antique malls and things and have had no luck. And then off of Etsy, I found this stoneware, um, this advertising stoneware piece that I thought was just so beautiful. I'll probably put this in my little wooden cabinet, but I just, I don't know, I'm obsessed with this vintage advertising stoneware right now. It's been fun to collect. This I found at the antique mall that I went to recently. They are dried peppers and I just love the color of them for fall. This will look so good in my open pantry on my my peg rail just kind of hung there. I think this is so unique and I've never seen dried peppers in a bunch like this before so I definitely wanted to pick that up and I left the price on some of these. This one was $8 and from the same booth I picked up this really pretty wheat grass type thing. It's a lot bigger as you can see but this will be really pretty to either put in a vase, a pitcher, um, something like that. It's a little bit too big to hang so I really like this one as well and this one was $10. I was so excited when I saw this little biscuit tin. I love this font and I thought that I had a matching one uh, that I picked up at Goodwill at the house. Matching meaning the font not the color because they're clearly not the same color. So this is the cookie jar and then this is the biscuit tin. So you can see the font is very similar but they are not from the same brand but I think they look so good next to each other in my open pantry. And I did see a bread tin that was very similar. I'm not sure which brand it was, but I wish that I picked that one up. That was from a couple weeks ago at a different antique mall, um, but it was a little dirtier, I would say. And since I would keep it in my pantry, I don't know, I just didn't love that idea. But I wanna keep my eye out for more matching pieces that go with that because I love the way that font looks together, even though they're different colors, it still has like that faded, um, like vintage -y cottage look, and I just think they're so cute. I also love just to collect white pottery pieces. It's perfect to decorate my open shelves and pantry and all sorts of things. I'm using these two on my tiered tray for early fall, but they are just a little creamer set, and I just love how simple it is. It's just pretty. These were $4, I believe but I just love the simplicity of it and it's perfect to add um, to your seasonal decor, to fill space, to add texture and height and all those things without adding a lot of color and you know, clutter to your design, if that makes sense. So I love finding these when I can. One of my favorite finds was this set of copper measuring cups. I've been looking for something like this for the longest time and they're just so beautiful. They have gold on the handles and then they're just this really clean, beautiful brass. A lot of my vintage brass um, 
isn't this clean. So I love how shiny they are and just so pretty. I'm also using this in my early fall tiered tray and incorporating a lot of apples and things. I love using apples, pears, things like that to decorate before I take all my pumpkins out. So usually end of August, early September is when the early fall kind of happens in our house. So I'll show you that in my next video. Um, and then the other thing, which I thought was just so perfect for a tablescape or on shelves or something, is this pair of pheasants. They are just so cute. And actually it says pheasants on there, but I think these are technically quail, but <laughs> it really doesn't matter. The color is perfect though, and these are just a really fallish type bird. Um, they were $7 each, and I'm thinking about using them for my tablescape. They would be really cool for even like a Thanksgiving tablescape. Just really, really cute. Next is this beautiful brass cream and sugar set. I've been looking for a lot of brass and copper pieces to add to my shelves above my coffee bar. I want that brass copper accent to be all over my house for early fall. Um, and I think that really transitions well into Christmas as well. Just like I kind of switch out my silver pieces to more of like a copper vibe. It's really just I don't know, it really puts me in the holiday spirit. And it's just a great color and texture to add to your home for the holidays. So this is what this one looks like. They also kind of remind me of little trophies as well, which I thought was just kind of cute. And then I did find a couple more copper pots that match my set pretty well. Um, this one is actually the closest to it. And they are a little bit more beat up, as you can see. I did go through and clean these the best that I could. But honestly, I love that kind of aged patina of all of these vintage pots. I prefer that over the store-bought copper pieces. Um, and this one has a little lid on it, which I thought was so cute. So I will hang these behind my stove. I love adding that around fall. Um, Christmas time, just hanging copper pots, I think are so perfect. Also, I used Brasso for the first time to clean those. Normally I would just use like an at-home thing with lemon, um, baking soda, you know, salts, things like that to clean them. And while that does work to clean them, Brasso really works to give them a nice shine. And I just really like how they look overall using Brasso versus just like the at home methods. So if you have some copper pieces, I highly recommend picking this up just at your local grocery store. I've noticed a huge difference. Another find that I was really excited about is this copper canister set. Um, I don't know how vintage this is or not. It says it's a Delta Cuisine copper canister set, so I should really just look that up. But I love, um, this is the large size, and I just love that it has this little gold label here, and they're very lightweight. They're in pretty good shape. I haven't cleaned these yet, um, but the inside silver. And these are going to look great, again, on those three shelves above my coffee area. I love them. This is the large, and then we have the medium size and the small, and I got the set for $23, which I thought was pretty good. Okay, only two more copper brass items left, and then we can move on to other things. But I found this set of, I think they are more of like a brass, um, like a dark brass, but I definitely need to clean these. These were only five bucks for the set and they're super lightweight. And I love this for hanging off the peg rail on my island for fall. Just, I don't know, cute. And I figured for five bucks, I could definitely work these in somewhere, whether it's hanging or just in a utensil crock, something like that. I thought these would be really fun. Okay. And the last thing is the biggest and one that I was actually searching for. So this is a big copper or brass I don't does it say oh it says this is an oversized brass planter and I got this for $18 which I thought was amazing for the size of it it definitely needs to be cleaned you can see on the inside that it's more shiny than it is on the outside and I'm actually gonna wait to clean it until I film my video so I can use this and show you how well it works because it's so satisfying when you clean old like copper and brass and just see all the old come off and the shine come through. I love that. And that will be so fun 
to kind of change up the florals in there throughout the year. When it gets closer to October, I can put pumpkins in with some florals and things. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I mentioned that I've been searching for a vintage rocking horse to put on top of my wooden cabinet. And I found this one and I thought it, he was just so perfect. I love the light wood design and these colors, like the light red and kind of faded green are perfect for the holidays, but also just every day. This one was $25. He's 12 inches, so he is a very good size for putting on top of my cabinet. Over on Instagram, I showed, I picked up one off Facebook Marketplace and it was completely my fault for not asking what size it was, but the thing is literally life size. So I'll insert a little video of what that looks like. Even though he was way bigger than I expected, I think he will look adorable by or around our Christmas tree. I think that'll look really cool. Plus my daughter loves playing with him, so it's fine. Another thing that I thought was really cool, and these obviously aren't vintage or antique, but are these little candles and they are battery powered and I just love the size of them and also the texture. This one's a little different. It's almost like, I don't know, a rock sand type texture. And then these two are more of a wax, but I really like that. Um, I don't know, I like that look. It looks very vintage to me, even though they're not. So I have a battery in one of them, I think. Maybe it's this one. But you just kind of screw it in tighter and then it turns on. So I love how they blink and stuff too. I don't know where I'm putting this one yet, but I just thought these would be really fun. Let me know if you guys decorate for Halloween as well. I love decorating for Halloween. I think it's so much fun. When I was a kid, I remember coming home from school, getting off of the bus, and just being so excited when my mom put up all of our Halloween decor. So whenever I see Halloween decor, I have to pick it up if it's something that I love. And this was just so stinking cute. It is a cat statue. I can't tell what it's made out of. It's definitely heavier than tin, but I don't know. It's not that heavy either. And it's just like this dark statue or like maybe even cat mold type thing. But how cute will this be to add into some Halloween decor? I just think it was really cute. And this one was $8. And then the next thing is this metal tea light holder with stars. This was $8.95 and again I love this. Imagine putting one of those candles that I got in here. Um, this might look good on my porch or maybe even somewhere on my counter incorporated in a Halloween vignette. I think this is so cool. You could definitely use this for fall as well but when I saw it just the color, the stars, the idea of like the light shining through the stars, it just kind of screamed Halloween to me. And these next three I picked up with Christmas in mind and this one I shared on my stories and asked you guys if I should get it or not and I was shocked that most people said no but I didn't really specify that I had pictured using it for Christmas and not just everyday decor but it is a grapevine deer mount if you can see it here are the antlers and then this is what it looks like up close I just have never seen anything quite like this before. It was $30. I saw this one day, put it back, and then ended up going back for this and a couple other things because when I got home, I just thought of so many cool ideas that I could use this for. I'm thinking maybe out on my front porch for Christmas. I even thought maybe I could mount it up on my oven hood range for Christmas. I'm not sure, but there's so many different ideas that I wanna play around with, and I did Google um, grapevine deer head mounts just to see what would come up and if I could find something like this or the same thing for cheaper and there are a couple things one specifically was very expensive so it just kind of solidified going back for this one I'm going to have a lot of fun decorating with him for the holidays so stay tuned and then I found this deer antler cast iron hook that I thought would be really fun to decorate with as well. This one isn't necessarily Christmas specific. It's pretty heavy, so I need to figure out a good spot to put this. 
but this will just be really fun to put on the wall, give that kind of lodgy Christmas vibe that I love going for. And the last thing I found was this Santa sleigh mold. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you've probably seen my sheep molds that I found at Michael's. I use them all of the time, pretty much all season. So I thought this one would be so cool to incorporate with a Christmas tiered tray or just shelf decor very unique very vintage christmas all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's haul i have been loving just finding different unique vintage pieces to decorate with i have had no desire to go to hobby lobby target any of those places for fall decor this year one because i already have so much fall decor from previous years plus i think it's so fun to go to vintage shops and see what you can find and incorporate and it's just I don't know, I feel a lot more creative and it's just really fun doing it that way. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you got any ideas or inspiration from this video and also make sure you are subscribed with a notification bell on so you do not miss my early fall decorating video which will be coming to my channel next week.